I would just like to draw your attention to some important things about this question before we start. They tell us that CD is a tangent, angle A1 is equal to angle A2, both of which can be called Y, and then A is the center of the circle. The question says, prove the following. Now, when I look at this diagram, I don't see any parallel lines, so I know that this isn't going to include or involve proportionality. But it is, however, going to probably do or include similarity. So similarity is all about proving two triangles that are similar. Now a good skill to develop is how to work out which two triangles we need to work with because there's quite a few triangles in this diagram. So what I do is I look at the first side which is GC. I then look at the next one which is AE which is over here. Now there is no way that GC and AE are from the same triangle. Just look at that. How would that work? So what I then do is I circle AE in a different color then we look at CF. CF is over here. Now there's no way that that could connect to the green one, so I'm quite confident that that's going to be the first triangle. And then I just look at the last one, which is GA. Now GA is this whole piece over here. So it's quite easy to see which two triangles we're going to work in. It's going to be this one and this one. And so the goal of this question now is to prove that those two triangles are similar. So I'm going to say in triangle AGE, AGE and triangle GFC, the order does not matter at that point because I'm just telling the teacher which triangles I'm working in. I'm not worried about the order just yet. So I need to find three angles that are the same. The first and the easiest one to see is that they both share this common angle G. Okay, so we can say that angle G is equal to angle G and that's common. That's number one. Number two, so whenever you have a tangent and a chord, then the angle that is trapped between the tangent and the chord, which is this angle here, well that's always going to be equal to the angle in the opposite segment like that. Remember that's called the tan chord theorem. So we can say that angle FCG because I can't just say angle C because that could be this, this, yeah, or that one. So I'd rather say FCG is equal to angle B. Why? Tan chord theorem. But then I know that angle B, or let me rather say that this whole of angle A, which is FAC, is, this, is, is two times angle B. Why? Because of the, remember, angle at center. This is all grade 11 stuff. Angle at center equals to 2 times angle at circumference. So that would mean that angle B would be equal to Y. Why? Because we know that A1 and A2, they both Y, so together this whole angle is 2Y. But we've just said that B is half of that. So angle B is equal to Y. But then a few lines ago, we said that angle FCG, which is this one here, is equal to angle B. Which means, therefore, that FCG, which we said was equal to angle B, is going to be equal to Y. Because we've just proved that B is equal to Y. So the whole goal of that was to prove that this is equal to Y. But A1 is also equal to Y. So there we've just proved two different angles in the pink and the green triangle. So we can therefore say that angle FCG is going to be equal to angle A1 because they are both equal to Y. So that's our second reason. So, the th so now we are pretty much complete because remember the third angle has to be the same because of angles in a triangle. So which angle have we not used in the pink triangle? Well, that would be this one over here. So that's GFC. And in the green triangle, we haven't used this angle. So we can call that angle GEA. And the reason for that is sum of angles in a triangle. And so we found three reasons, and so we can say, therefore, triangle AGE is similar. Now you must just make sure you get your order correct to AGE. Which angle went with A in the green one? Well, that was angle C. And then which angle went with G in the pink one? 
that's this one. Well, they both share G, so that's going to be G. And then which angle went with E in the in the well, E is part of the green one. The angle that matched that was F, and so that will be F. And the reason for this is angle, angle, angle. Then we should always get into a good habit of writing out the ratios. So AG over CG is the same as GE over GF, which is the same as AE over CF. And the reason for this is that the corresponding sides are in proportion. And so the original question was to prove the following. So I'm just going to go circle GC or CG, it doesn't matter. AE is over here, CF is over there, and GA is over there. So we choose those two, we do cross multiplication, and what we're going to end up with is GC times AE is equal to CF times G A. You see, so I just cross multiplied and I cross multiplied and there you end up with your answer. So in summary, when they give you a question like this and we identify that it's similarity, then you've got to try to work out which two triangles you need to work in. Once you've identified that, you need to find two angles and then the third one is automatic due to angles in a triangle. You then just do these ratios over here and then you solve.